Sam Raimi's Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, that is a dream come true. I got a call from my agent saying that Kevin Feige and the Marvel team were looking for a director for the new Doctor Strange movie. And I was a big fan of the first one. It was really intelligent and interesting. So when that offer came in, I thought, this would be a really good challenge. Ready to go. Sam is such a lovely human being, and obviously his standing in this industry and this genre in particular is legendary as it should be. Sam has become known for this terrorizing cinema experience. He's creating as much tension as possible for the audience, just ready for them to have that jump scare moment. And that was always where we were headed with the sequel to Doctor Strange, knowing that we wanted to explore the mind-bending, frightening side of the multiverse. We need your help. With what? What do you know about the multiverse? Telling this story is such a gigantic endeavor, and there's a lot of dimensionalized visuals that we use in telling that story. We shot it with an eye toward that, so I think it's gonna be a very exciting experience to go to 3D. You opened the doorway between universes, and we don't know who or what will walk through it. Shit! I did what I had to do to protect our world. It's pretty unfathomably exciting where we're going in this film. It's the most fantastic new phase of Marvel. What do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. In this story, we are leaping into different universes. But unlocking the multiverse creates a big Pandora's box. You opened the doorway, and we don't know who or what will walk through it. We're in unknown territory. I think audiences are going to be startled. These other realities invite a plethora of all these new characters. Telling the stories was such a gigantic endeavor. It had to be large because it had to not only paint a picture of our universe, but of multiple universes. We need your help. It was a great opportunity to pair two of the most powerful superheroes together. It's got a sort of darker tone to it. And with Sam Raimi at the helm, and he's a master of that. We wanted the fans to go, oh, how cool. I mean, that really was our goal. We wanted to give the fans what they wanted, just not exactly what they expected. The stakes are real. He's literally coming up against versions of himself. Things just got out of hand. What is grief, if not love, persevering? Part of the madness of the multiverse is we get to see different realities. And we see different versions primarily of Doctor Strange, but we do see other versions of Wanda Maximoff. I think WandaVision was this journey of her for the first time, taking her own life into her own hands. And it was fun transitioning from her experience to this movie. You could use an Avenger. There are other Avengers. We'll get you back on the lunchbox. What do you know about the multiverse? We wanted to satisfy the WandaVision fans and take them to the next level with the character they love. It was fun just looking at it from a different perspective. Multiverse. Viz had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. We need your help. It's magical. She owns that character so well. It's a very powerful performance with a very powerful character. In the multiverse, there are alternate versions of everyone. It gives the characters a unique opportunity to meet themselves, to recognize qualities that they may have been blind to. The fate of the multiverse depends on us. Hello! How's everyone? <laughs> Welcome to the WCU, the Wong Cinematic Universe. <laughs> 
Okay, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be heard about this. No, I feel like I'm a guardian of this character, so uh, the integrity sort of rests with me. Where did you get your costume? My dad made it. To have 10 years now of storytelling behind us. Absolutely. It's amazing, and I think the audience gets to enjoy that as well. I'm not even sure I can answer that, right? You basically say, Sam, go crazy. Do what you, what, do, what you do and, 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 and dream up the craziest things you possibly can. And he did. The greatest technological advantage for me on this picture probably was Zoom. Sam Raimi, just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, America Chavez! Yes! And she is an alien, which we love that. <laughs> But we also in this film get to see you work with Elizabeth Olsen in this one, a fellow yeah. sorcerer. So what was it like getting to work uh, with her? She's just a joy. There's nothing I can say that hasn't already been said about how superlative she is as a human being and an actress, but I will anyway. She's mesmerizing to watch. She's so consummate. You just kind of fall under her spell, pun intended. Oh, come on Well, over. look at this reunion. Come on over. Come on over. There it is. We've got Elizabeth Olsen, Elizabeth. Wanda Maximoff, a.k.a. the Scarlet Witch. Look at this reunion here. Hugs all around. She is this mythic woman, this ancient woman that she has always been destined to be, and we're, we're finally embracing that in Doctor Strange. <laughs> One of my favorite lines at the end of Marvel Studios' WandaVision is you say, I don't understand this power yet, but I'm going to learn. Yeah. So where is she in that journey of learning? I think she's learned. Well, there's always a method to the madness, even in the multiverse. We have Soshi Gomez, who's making her MCU debut as America Chavez. If you have any inside notes to get to her, any advice, what would it be? Make good memories. I mean, it's just, it's Marvel. It's a co dream come true already. So it's, it's cool just being in a bigger Marvel project. There's possibilities in all of us that remain there to be found and, and tapped into and developed and enjoyed. The multiverse, it's dangerous. I could use an Avenger. It's about time you showed up. On May 6th, enter a world of strange. Try not to break the multiverse, Stephen. Oh, come on. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Rated PG-13. You can see it in premium large format in IMAX. Tickets on sale now.